How's everybody doing? I think I'm live. Am I live? I don't know. Can you hear me? Maybe, maybe not. Happy Sunday night. Uh, some of you reached out to me during the week and said, Eric, how about that Acolyte trailer? I mean, you know, <laughs> you like Star Wars. We want you to react to the trailer that we got this week. <sighs> Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? You want me to watch more Star Wars, more Disney Star Wars? Haven't we watched enough? All right, I'll do it. In the comments, Mr. Skullduggery says, good thing about all this Star Wars crap is we get more Eric reviews. All right, it's my duty, it's my curse. So um, I did see a little bit of this. I did hear a little bit of Friday Night Tights what they said about it. I'm going to try to not rip them off too much and come up with something original to say that has not already been said. Um, I'm going to give it to you raw, like Durin <laughs> in the Rings of Power. So are you ready for it raw? Because it's going to happen. All right, and we'll get to your comments at the end. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this trailer. Uh, let's make me small. Let's make... Oh, and so let me tell you what this is, because some of my family members were shocked by this. So this June, we're going to get a new Star Wars series on D+. And the showrunner is Leslie Headland, who is the former apprentice of Harvey Weinstein. Uh, she worked for Harvey for about four years, um, so she knows a lot about the dark side. Um, she is a lesbian, a married lesbian, and she always wanted to see her self in Star Wars. So she's done that, and she's invited us to watch. So I'm very excited to watch. Yeah, that, so that's it. That's the backstory, and here we go. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Acolyte. Uh, I guess you guys can hear me, so... Oh, I see some comments. All right, yeah, we'll get to all the comments. Let me see here. Let me back this up. Can this Close. There's no, there's no like Lucasfilm. What do we got here. I right, back it up here. Right away, what is with this dude? Before I even start the trailer, it's like a uh, depressed zoo monkey. <laughs> that guy right there. That's how I feel. That's what I look like when I watch Disney Star Wars. So I like this guy already. I don't know what his name is, but I'm down with this guy. I need like a little like hot toy of this guy sitting right here on my desk just looking at me like that. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. Close your eyes. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, oh, he did. Look, he closed his eyes. All right, I was going to, all right, so they, they did do that. All right, and why is Ra's al Ghul talking to me right now? I feel like I'm in the League of Shadows. He's going to teach me about theatricality. Theatricality. There's no theatricality in Disney Star Wars, by the way. Your eyes can deceive you. No. No, they can't. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Diversity, inclusion. Where are... <laughs> Where are all the white boys? Life. Balance. I see fire. That you do. I see Carrie Ann Moss. Is that who I see? Trinity? All right. Can't believe this. So I see crouching activist, hidden lesbian. That's what I see when I see this. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? She's a very kinky girl. The kind you don't bring home to mama. Is this like Rick James? Like, what the hell is going on here? What, what the hell is this? Is this like a Sith assassin? <laughs> Rick James coming at you? She's a super freak, I'll tell you that. I, 
can't wait for June. You know, this show goes up against the new Game of Thrones and the boys. So, good luck. Someone is killing Jedi. Someone is always killing Jedi. Can't they come up with something new? Seriously. Oh, a yellow lightsaber. Uh, so these characters, so what, this is a hundred years, right, before The Phantom Menace. And apparently, like, Yoda is off on a sabbatical. He's too, like, toxic. There's too much toxic masculinity from Yoda, so he's, he can't be in this show. And these are all the characters, like, are some of the characters from the High Republic novels. Like, who reads those? Because I heard, and that's why I did it in my thumbnail, that uh, one of the characters has, like, a purple... Not, not a lightsaber, but a laser whip. A purple, like, <laughs> purple laser whip that she's just going to whip everybody with her purple thing. Can't wait. It doesn't make sense. I'm getting it. Eternals vibes in that last shot. It's like, you know, we got... The, we, that's like Eternals here. I'm getting my... I'm getting getting triggered yeah okay it's not a compliment is that Chewbacca's uh <laughs> I don't know what that is oh boy oh, they, they just have no new ideas they, they are creatively bankrupt there's a white dude he must be bad look he's getting uh, he's getting the force he's getting the mind trick what happened? I said. What is this guy's name? Soul? Wait a second, I gotta see that again. I'm sorry I keep stopping it, but what, that looks like Feed. That's that's like nothing new. That looks like that stupid casino planet from. Uh, I can't remember the name of these things. This the 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 the, <laughs> the, the, the casino the second uh, the sequel. I don't even care. What's cool? I said. I, he's a convict. I sensed dark. The darkness. More of this crouching, you know, activist, activist, uh, hidden lesbian shit. In an age of light. Huh. The darkness, the darkness rises. Everything is always rising. The darkness always rises. It's so lame. <laughs> like... This. What is this? What is this? Anisea. This isn't about good or bad. You know what this looks like here? This looks like I'm in trouble and human resources is walking down the hall to my office. You know what I'm saying? That's what that looks like right there. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. It really is. It sure is. You better believe it, Rick James. And who is allowed to use it? Ah, oh, there you go. Wow, they're not even hiding it anymore. It's all about the message. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What is that? Lightsabers. All these lightsabers. 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 ATSTs. Yay, lightsabers. You know what that looked like? You know what this looked like right here? Let me show you this. This right here, this bullshit. This looks like all the posers in Galaxy's Edge. You know, they, they get together and they go down there for whatever whatever stupid day it is. I don't know if it's like life day or I don't know. And they all stand around and they all like ignite their lightsabers. They're fake, fake, fake ass flashlights. You know, they, they all huddle around the Millennium Falcon. They all ignite their stupid lightsabers. They all gave Disney a hundred bucks for. And then they go, yay, and then, you know, they play dress up. <laughs> that's it. You know, they, they're, you know, they got that. Uh, that's what that reminded me of. All right, I want to insult to, I better watch what I say. I don't want to. <laughs> wait, wait, what the hell is that?
is this? This this is like I see a ring and I get triggered because I think like maybe this is like the season two of Rings of Power trailer and I'm feeling like uncomfortable. I'm starting to twitch. Anytime I see a ring, it's not good. The Acolytes. Two episodes. Two D plus. I give this a D plus, this trailer. This is my man right here. This dude, I don't know who you are. I like you. Uh, make a plushie. I'll buy it. Um, I like this guy. This guy is the best thing about the whole damn trailer. The B trailer. So, my verdict, this is trash. This is, uh, it gets woker and woker. And uh, there's just nothing here. There's, there's no story. There's no plot. There's no creativity. This is not even a shadow of Star Wars. Just nothing going on. There's like somebody who can like kill Jedi. So it takes 800 Jedi to go like chase this person with like an orange lightsaber. It's gonna be so lame. And what the, the, the Rick James, they're all gonna hunt, hunt down Rick James. Is that the plot? Like aren't trailers supposed to make you like intrigued about something or make you want to see something? Wow, terrible. Terrible. George, George hired to Kathleen Kennedy, and now George backs Bob Iger. So I don't feel bad for George anymore. He did it. He did it. Who is this for? It's for nobody. It's not for kids. It's not for kids. Kids don't like this shit. Kids don't watch Disney Plus. Kids are on YouTube. All right, that, that's kind of all I got. I, I can't watch that again, guys. I did my duty. Let's get out of this. Let's 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 go back. <laughs> let's see what. We got some people here. All right, all right. Oh, that's a, that's a big Eric. Do we need Eric that big? I don't know. I don't know if we need it that big. What do we got? What's my options? Yeah, that might be better. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk to you here. All right, we got Idiot here. That's good. Thanks for stopping by. It's been a while since I've done this. So uh, I won't keep you too long. We'll just go through the comments here. Oh yeah, wait, I can do this. Look, yeah. There you go, Mr. Skullduggery. The good thing about Star Wars crap, new Star Wars crap, is that you get new everyday era crap. So thank you, Mr. Skullduggery. Location redacted. It was worse than I could have possibly imagined. Yeah. Scott Davis. I'm going to say hi to you, Scott. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Sith Lotus. <laughs> Let's see here. Sith Lotus, you're a new person. Welcome. Um, I feel bad when he says, close your eyes and the one alien uh, can't close his eyes. Yeah, I heard it, but there's like a Greedo back there. I missed it. I heard there was like a Greedo back there can't close his eyes. I mean, he has a disability, he has an ocular disability, and the, the sensei is like, you know, not being sensitive. I think that's wrong. I think you should report the sensei, the sensei to HR, file a complaint. You're making fun of uh, the Rodian's uh, disability. I don't, I'm not down with that. Uh, Red Pill Rants. It's a dead franchise. Yeah, it, it was dead, and now it's like, like, they just keep, they dig up the corpse, you know, a, a, a play with it, bury it. They dig up the corp, <laughs> corpse again, play with it, bury it. It's just terrible. Uh, goes, <laughs> is that goes, <laughs> Gozera? <laughs> I, I don't know what the reference is. I'm thinking like, Go, Godzilla, because <laughs> I'm seeing Godzilla next week, and I'm, much more excited about seeing Godzilla, actually. Gozira? I don't know what that means. I don't know. But I'm, I'm losing it. Kathleen Kennedy comes to mind, and how bad I... Let me see here. And how bad I want to never mind. Yep. Oh, I get it right. Close your eyes. What comes to mind? So terrible. <laughs> I see rain. <laughs> I see a lot of action figures on Target, you know, uh, pegs going on clearance uh, probably before the holidays is what I see Scott Davis move over Star Wars Dune is the new king and I say that as a Star Wars fan love Dune though too yeah no Dune at least is making entertainment for adults and not I mean there's, there's a t they're not pushing the message you know there's a little bit I don't know like you know Frank Herbert his books are loaded with like female characters if they do all the they do all those books there's it's it's you know there's a ton of female characters and that's cool that's fine um anyway 
Uh, let's see here. Did I do this? No, I did this one. Yeah. Red Pill Rance. She looks odd. Uh, Trinity looks odd. Or Rick James. I like Trinity. I like Carrie Ann Moss. I don't know. I gotta... I don't know. She was in that... Uh, was it Daredevil or Elektra? Or... No, it's the one... Oh, I can't think of her name. Can't think of it. She was in that one Netflix show. She, she was kind of wasted. Oh, I can't think of it. Can't think of it. It's too late. Jared1765. Super freaky. Yeah. She's a... <laughs> She's a super freak, super freak. She's super freaky, yeah. That's right. Red Pill Rants. There you go. I like that. I like that little dude. That's cool. Uh, it is hard to hear me. Oh, shit. Is it really? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Acolyte. There you go. I hope you guys could hear me. I don't know. Maybe I... Well, it's like I said, I was going to give it to you raw, just like Durin. You know, if you want me to go through it again, I mean, I can <laughs> uh, Yoda is banging Yaddle. Yeah, something's going on. I don't know. That doesn't fit the message, so Yoda can't show up here, you know. Red Pill Rants. Oh, my God. A, wo a Wokey. A, a Wokey? Oh, you meant a Wookie. Oh, it looks more like a Wokey to me, but Scott Davis says member berries. Yep. Not, not much though. I mean, at least throw like an ATST in the background. You know, <laughs> they keep talking about the darkness rise. I mean, I, I wish, you know, come on, give me something. Let's talk. <laughs> give me a rise. You know, um, Harry. Did I? What did I say? Harry? <laughs> Who's Harry? <laughs> Harvey? Harvey Weinstein? Is that what you're talking about? Red Pill Rants. Yep. Uh, crouching Tiger, hidden activist. Yeah, I said a uh, crouching activist, hidden lesbian. That's what I was going with, but, you know, I see total boredom. Yes. I got to watch this shit, though, right? I got to, you guys are going to make me watch it. Uh, Red Pill Rants, the power Kathleen Kennedy is yielding. Yeah. They're all part of this club. The club is how to lose money. Mm hmm I don't know. I'm never, we're never coming back, so. I just watch it to goof on it. Like when I was a kid, the best comedies were like Stripes and Animal House and Blues Brothers, and ah, there's a lot of great comedies. And even in the '80s, all those like weird science and things. I think the best comedies being made today are by Lucasfilm. Just great. Have some whiskey and go for it. Coke and whiskey though tonight. It's a Sunday night. Um. Uh, Red Pill Rance is Kathleen Kennedy's self-insert here. Yeah, that and Leslie Headland. It's her, it's her, it's Leslie Headland's wet dream, what we have to watch here. Scott Davis, those sabers look awful. They do, they're looking worse. Mine looks good in the thumbnail, though. I'm pretty proud of that. Got the limp uh, purple <laughs> whip. Hopefully we're going to see it. Uh, crouching Tiger, not so hidden message. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's better than mine. Damn it. Uh, I remember. I remember. Yep. Uh, Red Pill Rants 100. One ring to rule them all. Stop it. I, no. That's coming back too, isn't it? It's not coming back this summer, is it? Please. I can't take more rings of power. Uh, Jedi's are monkeys now. <laughs> Red Pill Rants. I think that's a throw up. If it's a throw up, that's yes, I, I concur. You guys are on fire. Uh, Red Pill Rants. I didn't watch one minute of Ahsoka. Uh, I got suckered into Ahsoka for a little bit. Why is my computer saying my battery's low? Oh boy. If I disappear all of a sudden, you know why now. Red Pill Rants. I didn't watch one minute of Ahsoka and I won't be watching one minute of this. Oh, and I watched one episode of Boba. Oh, you're missing out. You gotta get your D plus. So that means you watched Obi Wan Kenobi, which that was funny. It was a good one. Uh, maybe Keanu Reeves will make an appearance, and he'll be like, "Whoa, I'm a Jedi." That would be good. Can't be worse. Mister Zork, one minute of Boba is more than enough of <laughs> for a lifetime. My condolences, Armano. Uh. Remember, we just like ride it like a bantha or something. I, I, you know, 
Was that the first episode? I don't even know. It was terrible. Thank you. Let's see. He checks one of the boxes. Yeah. The guy that's in the trailer sounds like, yeah, Ken Wanatabe. Yeah. Oh, oh. Is, oh, is that what his name is? I thought he was, well, I thought he was trying to be Razagul until we found out, you know, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn was Razagul. I wasn't fooled by that when I was like in the, the theater watching it. I'm like, why are they calling him Ra's al Ghul when Qui-Gon clearly looks like Ra's al Ghul? I don't know. I was, I was a little confused during that movie. Trinity. Yep. Holy weird land. The one alien can't close its eyes. Yeah, we talked about that. The Rodian. It, it's discrimination. Making all everybody uh, close their eyes when they have a disability, an ocular disability. That's not funny. He can... Maybe he requested a reasonable accommodation. You know, maybe it was granted. Maybe he doesn't need to close his eye. <laughs> Jared, why are they having blasters? Are they bla are there blasters? Oh, I can only hope. I saw knives. Because if you're going to fight a Jedi, you know, bring a knife to a fight with a Jedi. It's a good idea. Red Pill Rants, thank you, $1.99. I appreciate that. I'm going to get some new arcade cabinets. So now the next one I get is $1.99 cheaper. Except I think YouTube probably takes a dollar twenty-five of that, but I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Glad to see you're still doing this. Love the setup. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Glad, glad you guys jumped in here tonight. It's fun. I thought I'd be talking to myself like normal on a Sunday. You know, this is much better. Uh, Mr. Zork, aren't trailers supposed to make you want to see something? Yeah. It's so hard because literally the trailer could say, <laughs> coming 2029, and no one would bat an eye. Yeah. Well, this was like made, right? Like a few years ago, and it's just sort of sitting there, unfinished, and I guess they finished it, and they don't have any other content for us to consume this summer, so this is it. And Hasbro uh, had a, like a Star Wars day, and they showed us all the cool figures of these great diverse characters. Not this monkey guy, though. I want this monkey guy. It's the only one I want. Hot Toys, make this monkey guy. I want him right here, right here. Red Pill Rants, true, and I like the, I like that little face. That's funny. I like it. Uh, let's see here. The only thing rising is my blood pressure. Every time Disney and Lucasfilm make another Star Wars. Yeah, I just give, I, I'm dead inside when it comes to Star Wars. Yeah, they, they, I think Obi-Wan really, really did it. I said Boba did it at the time, but I think Obi-Wan just, that's it. Not exactly. Hollywood, Holly Weird Land. I keep saying Hollywood. Holly Weird Land. The Acolyte is so female-centric, I've been calling it a period piece. I know where you got that, Holly Weird Land. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, that's, um, yes, yes, it is. I, I like female characters when they're great characters. I've said this before, so if someone just drives by and they'll say, oh, you know, I'm sexist and all that shit, but I love female characters. I mean, I got female characters in plastic form all over the place here. <laughs> it sounds kind of weird. Uh, but no, I mean, I, I, yeah, um, the board game in the next room I'm playing is called Final Girl. There, you play with all these girl characters. Um, but this is like all about the message. This isn't about giving us characters that we uh, can get behind and relate to, whether they're male or female. It doesn't matter. A good character is a good character. I mean, yeah, we, we've been over this, you know, we know. This is just all a bunch of bullshit. Um, you know, I don't want these characters. You know, just, uh, <laughs> and if you're gonna give me a bunch of lesbians, like a bunch of Jedi, Jedi lesbians, we'll make them all hot. You know, I mean, a little less ESG score, a little more uh, Pornhub. No, I... <laughs> well, you know, you get my point. Make them hotter, right? But not, don't just give us a bunch of ugly people. Yeah, I don't care what their sexuality is. This is I don't know. Okay, I better keep moving. Uh, nice one, Holly. Weird land, yes. Yeah, I got a new Acolyte lightsaber at Target. It vibrates. Oh, Holly Weirdland. Going for it. I like it. I like it. That's good. Uh-huh. There we go. <laughs> you guys are having fun in the comments section. Let's see here. Nope, I didn't watch Obi-Wan Kenobi either at all. Well, listen, Red Pill Rants. There's a lot of content you really should check out. 
You should watch Boba Fett. You should watch Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. If you like good comedies, I would check it out. Scott Davis, I feel like Obi was the last draw for most people. Yeah, it, yeah, I, it was every second of that series was just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Well, all right, we watched this. We saw Rick James and a bunch of Jedis uh, ignite their lightsabers, and that was really exciting. Uh, Mr. Zork, oh, a couple more of you folks here. All right, all right. Mr. Zork, have you talked about the drama about that one line on Phantom Menace that goes, the Sith have been extinct for a millennium? And then they show one on this trailer, which is 100 years before episode one. No, so that's a great point. We didn't get into that. Uh, I did get into the, into the fact that this is supposed to take 100, play, 100 years, too much of this, 100 years before the Phantom Menace. So I, I don't know what what are they who is this uh, Rick James the super freak person is it a Sith I, there's a red lightsaber right or an orange lightsaber is that a Sith or is this a Jedi that's just going rogue because now we got Jedi's everywhere you know I, I even in the the prequel stuff we or I'm sorry sequel stuff we have Jedi's everywhere um, so I I don't know but yeah if it's a Sith eh, you know. I hear you, totally. I was going to say maybe uh, would uh, Plagueis. Plagueis should be around though, right? Lurking or... I don't know, but that's a great point. I have no faith that Lucasfilm knows their own canon, so who knows what we're going to get. So it, it could easily be just a Sith and they don't know what they're doing. But nice, nice one. Um, oh, I, I kind of hear it got back up a little bit. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Ranger 49, when I close my eyes, I see a flop coming for this show. Yep. Only people like me to rip on it are going to watch it. They should put the Super Freak on the Bud Light can. <laughs> they should. Oh, Bud Light. That was crazy. True. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. How you doing? Uh, Disney doesn't have good writers. That's a, re that's a result of failed positions in the company. Nothing matters with this property. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Holly weird land. It's supposed to be based on Frozen. Oh yeah. So right. Uh, Leslie, uh, Harvey Weinstein's apprentice said, this is Kill Bill meets Frozen. I see the Kill Bill part. Um, and then Frozen, they're supposed to be twins, right? like Jedi twins, maybe one of the twins is still with the Jedi Order and maybe one of the twins kind of went bad or just went bitchy. And maybe she has the orange, uh, she, I, I, I'm using the she pronoun, it could be they, them, I don't know. Because they don't give us the pronouns, so how am I supposed to talk about these folks in a respectful manner? I'll say she, maybe, maybe uh, she just is going rogue and maybe it's not a Sith. But yeah, I heard there's like sisters and, you know, they're, it's like frozen. So, <sighs> yeah, I remember when Star Wars was a boy's property. Those were the good old days. Back in 1978. It's a good time. It's a good time. Actually, that was a property for everybody back in 1978. Yeah. We don't worry about any of this crap. Um... Oh, talk about the ratio on the trailer. Yeah, it's like 400,000 downvotes compared to only a couple thousand positive votes. But Disney uh, sp spinning it like it's the most viewed trailer ever. Okay, yeah, I did hear about that too. They were talking about that on Friday Night Tights. I'll have to leave my downvote. I did not do that yet, but one more downvote for me coming. Oh, snap. Yeah, hey, great to, great to talk to you. Oh, snap. Thank you. We'll get back into it here. <laughs> like, that's the good thing, you know? If, if KK is going to give me more stuff to watch, you guys are going to get more every day, Eric. So, uh, Star Woke by Disney. That's right. Uh, for sure. Mr. Zork. Great seeing you again, by the way. I hope to get more of your grumpy but totally accurate review soon. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Zork. Thank you for stopping by. 
Acolyte has Wookiees and Leotards and Laser Whips. That's what that's, The Laser Whip is in my thumbnail, so I hope we see that uh, Laser Whip. I call them Wookiees. That's kind of what I'm going to do. But Wookiees, I, I know what you're talking about. Ranger 49, Disney is showing extended previews of this during the Phantom Menace theater re-release. Oh, wow. I should go to the theater and watch this. That would be not good. My girlfriend's done so much Botox, she's in plastic form. <laughs> uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I, I don't know, but I, I, hope it, I hope it turned out well. Um, yeah. Harvey's enabler. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, allegedly. I wasn't there, allegedly, but pretty much. Uh, lame. Mm -hmm. Put a chick in it and make it and lame. Mm -hmm. South Park, man. Just going to town on like Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm and Disney. I love those guys. Ranger 49. They have already been caught deleting some of the downvotes. Oh, all right. Of course. All hail Friday night tights. Yeah, that's fun. Friday is my uh, treadmill day. So uh, they help me get through uh, the treadmill Friday afternoon. Take my mind off it. Now they're great. Hail to the 199. Absolutely. <laughs> someday, someday. It'll be fun to be on there. Uh, this is Peak Woke Star Wars. It absolutely is. That's a good one, Wokies. I know. I had a couple zingers. I had a couple. No one brought up the Rick James yet. So I think I had that. That was original. I tried to, you know, come up with something new. KK canceled a Jabba the Hutt movie with Del Toro directing. Oh, wow. That would have been good. Yeah, yeah, he would have been good. Eddie Rodriguez. Hello. I remember subscribing to you after that Lizzo episode. That was a fun one. That was a fun th thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Look how far we've come. Man, not much farther. <laughs> I was doing really good. Uh, YouTube wasn't really on to me. And I was really doing good on the Book of Boba Fett. And then I went from like a lot of views to like they just they pulled the brakes on my channel. But that's okay. You guys are still here. That's all that matters. Uh, Lizzo was rock bottom Star Wars. Yeah, it was like, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. She is the handler to Harvey Weinstein, like Ghislaine Maxwell was the hander, handler for Epstein. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Eddie Rodriguez, sewer level, yep. Speaking about sewers, I was I was watching Wonka. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was watching Wonka. I'm trying to get through Wonka. And he's that's how he gets around town. He's like jumps in the sewers. I don't know. Anybody watch Wonka? The Oompa Loompa finally showed up. I'm like an hour into the movie. But uh, it's not it's not great. But for some reason, I want to finish it. There you go. There you go. It's like Ghostbusters. I haven't seen Ghostbusters, but... Uh, mm. Yeah, your humor towards this trash makes it fun. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, snap. It's all we can do is laugh at this point. Anybody see Woke True Detective Night Country? Nope. I have not seen it, and now I don't think I'm going to, based upon your comment. But uh, default doppelganger, how are you doing? Welcome to the conversation. Good versus evil. Sorry, good versus bad, because evil is problematic. The Marxist dialectic twins, nature versus nurture. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get some twins in this series, so maybe that's uh, yeah. The uh, we're gonna get the. the the dichotomy? I don't know. <laughs> the diet, another diet in the force. It's like Frozen, man. That's what we're told. Kill Bill and Frozen. Wonka and Ghostbusters look awful. Yeah. And that Timothy Chalamet, he tries. I'll finish it. It's free, you know. Ghostbusters, I don't know. Maybe I'll see it this week. I want that bucket. Uh, the, the Slimer popcorn bucket. So I'm just going to go for the bucket. I'll let you know. Um, yeah. It's amazingly bad. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, you guys are too kind. I've kept up. Uh, I've kept uh, you here 
long enough, long enough. But hey, thank you. Let's do this again. We'll do it again. I guess this might be a good time. There's a lot more coming, so I really appreciate everyone stopping by. Everybody have a great week. All right, and I'll see you soon. I'll see you on the new. So cheers. Thank you.